CataractCoach.com. How to finish this tough case. After the anterior lens capsule splits, it's going to be tough. There's that Argentinian flag sign. Let's cut right to it. Here you go. Eye full of viscoelastic tripan blue dye. Trying to get a Rexa started and zip it right out to the absolute equator. Both sides. Wow, now what? I mean, we all know why this happened. Because the bag was pressurized. That nucleus was coming forwards. And so as you tried to poke into the lens capsule, that posterior pressure of the, the lens nucleus pushing forwards up against the back side of the anterior lens capsule, that just caused it to split. So now our surgeon made a nick here in the capsule, and maybe going to get a larger opening done here. But what's the danger here? The danger is, well, that tear, you think it stopped at the lens equator. You hope it stopped there. But it can zip all the way back to the posterior capsule, and now what are you going to do? So now trying to get at least a half rexal done on this side, maybe do the same on the other side, so you have a reasonable opening, you can access the cataract. But then what? How do you get out the nucleus without putting stress on that capsule? How do you prevent this from splitting further back? So there's a semi, that's a, that's a bit of a rex is there. It'll work. It's, you got no choice. It has to work. Now, good news here, you do not need any hydrodissection. With this intumescent white cataract, it is a liquefied lens cortex there, and it's just going to be very mobile immediately. So coming in here with the chopper and the phaco probe, let's see the technique here. So maybe grooving a little pit, is that what we're doing? A chop around the, okay, a nice little horizontal chop here. I like the idea of bringing the pieces up and out of the bag. I don't want to work in the bag in this case. I just don't. The bag's got these two huge areas of weakness, and it can just go south. Hey, remember, check out cataractcoach.com, the teaching website. Also, that podcast every single week. I'm going to tell you about this on every single video until you start subscribing to that podcast because I promise you will love it. The same way you didn't know that you needed to watch a Cataract Coach video every day, but now you do. The same way you need to listen to this podcast every week. Trust me. Nuke is out of the bag. Obviously, there's no cortex. There's a little viscoelastic. Now, let's get the lens. And what kind of lens do you want to put? Well, you can still put a traditional single-piece lens in the bag. I would just orient the haptics 90 degrees away from this area where the capsule has zipped out or ran out. So you can still get it in there. But you want to get the lens in the bag without so much manipulation. Once you get the lens in the bag, don't try to turn it one way and the other, etc. Oh, going into the IA Pro, maybe just a little cleaning up here. On a case like this, honestly, I'd be tempted to put the aisle on the bag first and then try you know, clean up some of that little lens material, which is really not that much, as I already have the aisle on the bag. But you can certainly do it this way too. So taking your time here, remember, don't pull on the capsule here, especially because you don't have a full-size Rex. It's kind of a small, irregular shape. You got to be very cautious here. I would not do too much lens capsule polishing. I wouldn't worry about that. Now, the good news here is patients start off with a white cataract, so pre-op vision is probably hand motion. Or if you move your hand fast enough, wind perception, right? But the patient here now is going to have a much better outcome because you're replacing that cloudy cataract, the opaque white cataract, with this new IOL. So let's see as the lens goes in. Oh, more, more bimanual. Okay, uh, take it. Again, you can still need still do the bimanual cortex removal, but you can do it after you get the lens in the bag. Because this stuff is, you know, just on the lens capsule bag equator. It's not really on near the posterior capsule. But okay, do that too. But now you got to replace the viscoelastic unless you're going to do some sort of hydro implantation. So I, arguably there's more cortex than I thought. I, I do appreciate the nice cleanup here. Now let's see what's going to happen next. Okay, more viscoelastic. I like it. You believe in my saying that I borrowed, which is viscoelastic is cheaper than vitreous. I agree. More viscoelastic is a good thing. You don't want to get vintage here. You don't want that capsule to split any further. Now, here comes the lens. Let's see what we got here. Looks like single piece of acrylic. Okay, let's get that in the bag. And again, get those haptics 90 degrees away. So on your screen, I want the haptics horizontally. So there you go. Getting it in there. Nice and easy. Nicely done. Get that haptic pulled in and under the rexus. And now a bare amount, minimal amount of manipulation. Don't manipulate this too much. Let's just get out of this, just get out of the eye, get this case done. There we go. So the lens looks pretty well centered up. You can see it's definitely in the capsule bag. You definitely have those two leaflets of the anterior lens capsule overlapping the optic. Haptics are securely placed 90 degrees away from that area of where the capsule zipped out. And so we're good there. Let's just gently take out the viscoelastic and call it a day. Here, I'd actually be tempted to hydrate the incision first. 
little hydration of the incision first before taking the eye probe inside the eye. That way, when you come out of the eye, it's not going to deflate. You'll be able to keep the eye still maintained with pressure here. So take out the viscoelastic. Again, I don't want the AC to deflate too much. You're going to run into this one day. Even if you're an expert surgeon, there are certain cases where, you know what, you sometimes just can't help, and you're going to get this anterior capsule split open. You're going to get that Argentinian flag sign, and you need to be able to know how to man manage it. And our guest surgeon here, got to give credit. Good job. Ended up with a really nice outcome, and I bet you the patient was really happy. So nice save for a very tough case, and now you know how to do it. And again, check out that podcast every single week. Everywhere you find podcasts. And also follow me on Instagram. You can watch these same videos every day.